So I have three EC2 instances set up here, and I'm going to start MongoD on the first one in a replica set configuration. This takes a few seconds, and as part of the startup sequence, it will allocate the data files. And then it will sit and wait for the second member of the set. You have to have at least two members in any set before they become available. So I'm going to start MongoD on the second instance. Once this is started up, they will connect to each other, and you will then be able to continue with the setup. You can see when the initial config is complete because the init and listen event will appear in the console output. First we see this on the right on the first one I started and we'll see it in a few seconds on the left hand side one as well. You can see that they have now connected to each other. You can see the have you run rep set initiate yet. We haven't. So to finish the setup of this set, we need to connect to either one of these instances using the MongoDB console. You can just execute rs.initiate and it will make a number of assumptions about the host names, but because I'm running on custom ports, I'm going to build the config object myself. I'm not going to go into detail about this because it's covered in the blog post on blog.boxedice.com. I now initiate the replica set, and in just a few seconds, you'll see that these two uh, instances will negotiate between themselves to determine which will become primary and which will become secondary. And you can see on the right, this one is now a primary. In just a few seconds, it will become secondary on the left. There we go. So now we have a replica set with two members. But if we want to add another member, it's extremely easy. So I'm going to start up MongoD on the third instance. And again, it'll just take a few seconds to allocate the data files. You can tell when it's completed because the init and listen console event will appear. There we go. So now we can execute the rs.add method with the hostname of the third instance as the parameter. Now this third instance will find out if there's any data to do an initial sync on. As with this is completely new, we've got no data, and the initial sync has completed, and this is now secondary. Now the replica set is completely set up. We can test it by killing the primary. You can see here that the one on the left has immediately become primary and the one on the bottom left has become secondary. We can start up the old primary again. You'll see it will become available within the set right away. But the server on the top left is still primary. If we kill this one, then voting will occur to determine which of the instances will become primary. This can take up to 30 seconds. At the moment, both of the two remaining instances are secondary. But there we go, the top right has now become primary again. You can change the priority of which server should become primary first as part of the configuration when you initiate the replica set. Again, the documentation is on the blog post for this video at blog.boxdice.com.